Yo ho ho, we're back again with another video. The Wildebeest Den. Or Wild Beast. Wildebeest sounds less exciting. Wild Beast, it could be anything. It could be a bear. It could be a rhino. It could be a, a wildebeest, I guess, too. Or a boar. Any of them. It could be any of them. So anyways, um... I see you're very comfortable there. You better keep your end of the deal. Or what? Relax, everything's under control here. Don't worry about it, bro. Alright, so this is our first boss fight, baby. So what we want to do, again, I'm going for a Don't hero think. combo here. Uh, maxed out abilities, uh, in particular. And then I am not going to stop these guys from walking through. I believe they give you extra gold, so I'm going to go for it. Um, in addition, you can go like this, like this, and like this. And then the last thing here, if you went for all six of them, you can... Uh, get that as well but either which way we're gonna go for the norm strategy we're gonna go for the ballista outpost ballista outpost and we're gonna max them out to fourth tier right from the get-go and uh, we will have to be careful because there are units that are gonna come out over here and uh, units that are gonna come out over here and obviously when I front load my defense so much it can make things a little bit a little bit tricky so he's gonna turn invisible if we can reach him yes we can beautiful for the alliance faster than the wind Oops. Blink. Okay, we got a bear up here already. Alright, we're just gonna use this thing over here. We're gonna go for some arrows against the grain right there. Looks good. Hold him back to the king. Oh, dang. Darn. Naru, bro. Alright, we're gonna go for a quick crossbow down here as well, and we are ready for the next wave. So we're gonna go for a scrap bomb. That's kind of the goal of everything. Get a freaking scrap bomb. And I, I promise you, you'll be very, very happy. Alright, we're just going to go for a quick ability here. Alright, so we do have this guy. You can click him. Again, don't don't feel bad. You can click him. Right now, if you want to. Uh, oh, 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 no! He died! Dang, bro! So we're going to let these guys come out, and we're just going to oh, arrows them. Spray them. Watch this. Spray him! I get rid of him. This guy's about to die too, but we're not going to let him die. Build some reinforcements, send out the next wave, and we're just going to group attack all of them. Give us some extra cash flow here, and now we get another crossbow down here. So I know I'm going heavy on the crossbows right now. That's not going to be forever, but I do like my crossbows in the front, and unfortunately there's three fronts today. Right? Um, also, some cutthroat rats in the very back here. I am not a big fan of that, so we're going to go for a quick Paris, uh, uh play down at the bottom here so they don't sink through. Him up just a little bit. Keep him in range of this guy, basically. Okay, um, so again, goal is to get uh, fourth years across the board here, so any other 500 gold before I can make that happen. Don't blink. I'm gonna use this ability before I send out the next wave. Boom, next wave. And I'll go for this guy from fourth tier first. I assume this will be no problem. I assume they'll take it down. I assume this will be almost no problem. Uh, even though it's an, a, a weird start here. Uh, to the king. Uh, these guys do have some armor. I don't have a final Always nail yet. All right, I'm going to use my arrows. And we get our final fourth tier up. So don't forget, a lot of these guys have armor. So you might think, wow, Chris, you're a freaking crossbow noob. Like, you, all you do is spam, bro. You're just a spammer. Uh, we're going to stop spamming soon. We're going magic now um, for quite a while, actually. I want to get probably one scrap bomb on each of these guys, but I want to mix a little bit of magic in with, that, with all of that, too. So um, we might look a little bit newbie, but hopefully not not, not too newbie. Don't blink. There's one scrap bomb. Let's go for a second scrap bomb. And don't forget, again, down here, these units, you got to use an ability on them. It's just a fact of life. So we're going to get all these guys bundled up. Got more hyenas coming down here, by the way. Get all these guys bundled up. We're going to go for a quick arrows. They really want to take you down here, man. But we do good. And we're going to get our last scrap bomb. So now we have three scrap bombs across the board. Now it's about getting magic for a pretty long time. And that will get rid of all of our uh, current weaknesses, basically. 
which is plentiful. <laughs> uh, two Arcane Wizards in the middle of the map here, very key. And then we're going to probably end up going Arcane Wizard here. And then if we can, we're probably going to end up spamming quite a few Arcane Wizards over here as well. I guard the green. Probably no artillery today. The artillery does not get good until way Always later in the game. Target. Let's go over to the Magic Tower down here too. Let's get this wood upgraded first, actually, because I have a feeling there's going to be some big guys coming out here. And again, don't forget, you can stop them from coming out. But, oh, don't die on me, buddy. Don't die on me! I should probably swap these guys. These guys are all uh, pretty much either weak to magic or uh, better for Naruto to attack. These guys are, for the most part... Kind of a mix, actually. Uh, you really do need to like mix it up a little bit on this side. All right, we got a good bundle of guys here. We're gonna go for a quick slowdown. I have the Starting to get ready for our Orkane Wizard. I don't like to stall things on the front if I don't have to, so it just kind of feels like a waste to me. Unless you're really going for a really good artillery play, even with the uh, scrap bombs, it's not worth it all the time. All right, Arcane Wizard is up. Big damage here. Yeah, about 100 damage per shot. They average. Looks good. Alright, unfortunately we have some flying units here. I am not going to send out the next wave early. At least not yet. This is just too many bears. We've got vultures, tusk brawlers. Just going to wait a quick second. Alright, that's good. And I'm going to get rid of these guys first. Got some turtle shamans, but it don't matter. You take them down early game, and they got no healing power at all. This is why we do this, guys. Turtle shamans. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. We're going to get another magic. All right, so anyways, the vultures end up being not a problem at all. <laughs> just, just to be straight. Useless, actually. And the turtle shamans are not a problem at all. Normally, they kind of are because I build more magic, but this time around, went way, way hard, harder on the crossbows. Let's block these guys a little bit and go for a high level magic. Alright, we've got arrows here. Let's get rid of the turtle shamans. And we're ready for the next wave, believe it or not. Flying units are fast, so the, nobody will ever catch up to them. Always send out the next wave early after a flying set. Okay, um, I think we need a little more magic on this side now. Let's go for another arcane wizard over here. And then... Um, like I said, I don't really think that I can use the uh, Tricon here. I could probably go for another barracks down here if I want to. If I feel like we're going to have any rat guys get to the back. Could be worth it. Probably not. It's more of a build it if we get an emergency situation. Alright, we'll try to block these guys for just a quick second. They kill your units very quickly, though. The poison is actually pretty damaging. Okay, we got rats up the wazoo right now. Uh, but we got enough guys in range. Let's use a quick ability. Whenever you see a big group of units there, you gotta go for it. And we get our uh, third Arcade Wizard of the Day. Booyah, baby. Um, I'm feeling the Scrap Bombs again. I think I want to go hard on the Scrap Bombs. Just kind of across the board here. Probably going to go uh, uh, Hexadipping. All right, we got, ooh, Wave 10 here. He's unlocking the uh, Beast Cave, or the Beast Den, or whatever the heck the name of this map is. Does it tell me? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Forgot the name of it already. Alright, so we got a, a Raising Rhino coming in right now. Um, not too much we can do about him here. We're just going to have to hope that he's kind of slow and the Arcane Wizards just manage him. Oh, we're coming out one on each side. Alright, let's block these guys. Let the Rhino die. Oh, yeah, now these guys are worthless against our Arcane Wizards. Beautiful to watch. We got a nice arrows here, ready to play. Spray and pray. And scrap bomb time. Scrap bomb maxed out there. Scrap bomb get maxed out over here. No red nails yet on these guys either. And we're ready for the next wave. Turtle Shaman is like, I'm hanging on by a thread. Do you ever think these guys are like, can I possibly make it to <laughs> just fall over? Got 64 arrows in my head right now, but I can make it just one step. Alright, so again, click this guy if you want. Um, I think it earns gold. Haven't confirmed that. So, 
I'm gonna let him come on over to me. We've got some rats in here. We're gonna use our uh, ability here to stall and stun these guys. Hopefully kill them as well. There we go. Looks good. Got a lot of money now. All right, let's max it out. Scrap bombs max, scrap bombs max. That's $600 per crossbow. But it's good for all of this right here. You can see we just obliterate one of these guys. Just like that. All right, I'm ready for the next wave. Um, might as well. We're going to go uh, one final nail on each of these guys, but I'm not going to go any higher than that. I'm not going to go triple uh, on these guys. Instead... We've got the boss coming up. So I'm going to show you guys what I want you to do against the boss here. It's going to be a little wonky. Um, you might disagree with me, but I'm going to show you how to take him down real nice and quick here. It's, it's all about the arcane wizards. Fortunately, the arcane wizard doesn't really reach these guys. It's kind of sad. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's buy another arcane wizard over here. Screw the red hot nails. I don't need them. I don't need them. I changed my mind. We're going Arcane Wizards instead. I like them. I really do like them as an ability. But uh, if you don't need them, don't, don't use them. I definitely have a bigger weakness on this side for sure right now. Vipers up the Wazizzle. I'm going to have to arrow uh, probably these guys at least. Let's reinforce. Let's wait for the arrows. Let's kill the Vipers. Vipers and go. All right, we got another arcane wizard over here. Some guys over here, but again, that's what the, that's the point of the scrap bomb, bro. You get a couple of group guys you're like, oh no, they're overwhelming. No, they're not. No, they're not. We we take them down. Yeah, we got a raising rhino. Look at the damage, scrap bomb, baby. Like 300 damage to a rhino, a freaking rhino, baby. Okay, at this point, we're gonna get rid of this guy, uh, and we're gonna swap to an arcane wizard. Okay, Rhino, mega damage. No problems over there. We're going to go for some arrows against the green here. Quite a few guys lined up. We're going to move our heroes back because the Racing Rhino is actually getting reasonably far. I still think we're going to manage him. Uh, no problem here, but better be safe than sorry. Don't blink. And I'm just ready for the next wave. Bring it, bro. All right, another Arcane Wizard. And at this point, we're going to start to do something very interesting. We're going to start to get some Arcane Don't Wizard abilities. So let's go boop. And let's go shizzles a boop. And we got some more units coming out. I used both of my abilities, though. This is actually a little, little bit scary, depending on what comes out. Like this point, this would be the time that if we don't want the extra gold, like we're just like, screw it, let's let's just get it going. But I'm gonna try to survive without. Oh, we got a bear coming out. All right, let's go for um, two bears. Let's go for disintegrate. And then we're gonna go disintegrate over here. If we disintegrate one bear, the rest of the other bears gonna die, guaranteed. Uh, and we're gonna go disintegrate across the board here, everywhere. Disintegrate, disintegrate, disintegrate anywhere we can uh, get an arcane wizard. Specifically in this general area, though. All right, we got a nice uh, ability. Go to the next wave. And I will max them out, too. Because it, it, it not only lowers the cooldown, it also increases the damage. Two bosses, 1,500. So if this guy has, for example, 10,000 health, I mean, two disintegrates, and he, he's like halfway dead already. That's a crap ton of these hyenas. Gotta use the ability there. <coughs> Gives us tons of money though for more disintegrates. My heroes really aren't doing much. I'll admit it. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna send both of my heroes to the other side instead because oh, Naru, Naru, the great Naru. And we're gonna go uh triple. We're gonna get rid of this guy. We're gonna sell it. We're gonna go for an uh, arcane wizard instead. Boom, 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 boom. And we're gonna go triple disintegrate as well. I know it seems crazy, but it just kind of works. Ooh, check it out. Skunk Bob here is actually kind of being problematic over here. Uh, if I need to, I'll build a crossbow. I have not had these guys get far at all on me yet. That's the first time. Okay, let's bring both of our heroes over here. 
This is where the boar is going to pop out, I believe, if a veteran is the same as normal. There he is. Triple disintegrate. He's halfway dead, bro. Halfway dead. We're going to go for a, an empowerment here. Make everybody stronger. Let's block these guys in. Always on target. Um... Unfortunately, Disintegrate's not hitting the boar, the boar anymore. Our hero is reasonably tanky, but not tanky enough. Um, we're going to use our arrows here. Oh, he just died. Oh, snap. That's okay. We got one of these to slow him down. He's going to jump to the other side here. We're going to go for another Disintegrate. If we, get a, if we timed it right. Dead. Look at that. 32-4, and he is done. All right. Gore grind. It's all about them arcane wizards, bro. With the disintegrate. And we made it through veteran. Through the forest. Oh my. What do we have here? The mighty sword of Alini! Of course. Quit wasting your time. Our king is still missing. Ah, but he's closer than you think. It could be an uphill battle, though. Do you see? There's there's hills. <laughs> well, could be. <laughs> Hilarious. All right, we got uh, upgrade points, the Battle Brewmasters, and the Demon Pit, which I'll admit, again, I'm not a huge fan of them. Um, I would say that the uh, Battle Brewmasters are probably better than the official uh, Triple Bombardier, but by how much? I, I, I don't know. The Tri Cannon? I, I, I don't know. I, it's, it's different, this is the main thing. You can see, look at it. Like, technically, they're worse. This is the same. These two go down. So, like, why? Why? Because of the abilities. The abilities are supposed to be better on this than this guy. I wouldn't agree, though. I don't know. It's 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 really a, a it's up to you mix kind of situation. And then the demon pit is just not what I want it to do. I don't need this. I need stunning power, and this is not the greatest stunning power. Um, either which way is what it is. We've got uh, uh, cheaper fourth tiers. I'll take that. I like abilities. And then intense workout and linearian militia. Let's do that. And uh, we're ready for the next uh, level here, Bleak Valley, for next time. If you guys enjoyed, press that like button, subscribe, and have a super duper delicious day.